Howdy folks. In a recent video, I mentioned that the solar panels in Empyreon are less effective near the poles than they are near the equator. And so I just wanted to address some comments and messages that I got regarding that comment. And I figured it would be easier to just do a video response instead of trying to write in text all of all of those responses in text and plus I think it will work better with visuals so let's take a look at our first visual for simplicity's sake we're just going to consider a planet that is not tilted the equator points directly at the Sun and the sunlight is completely parallel although some beams are parallel to each other okay so first let's say you have a beam of light of a certain size and when it hits the surface of the sphere the more directly it's pointed at the center the smaller amount of surface is going to be hit by it. So in other words, at the equator, what you're going to find is that you're going to have a small amount of surface area that's hit by this beam. And if you look farther north or basically farther away from the equator, what happens is the same amount of light gets spread out along a larger amount of the surface area. So this is one of the reasons that it's warmer at the equator on Earth in real life. But with solar panels, okay, this is actually irrelevant. And the reason is that you actually don't lay solar plan panels flat on the ground all the time. You point them at the sun. So you basically aim them perpendicular to the sun. And so while the planet as a whole, yes, the planet is curved, but the solar panel is not curved. It's like I said, it's facing. So if there's no atmosphere, then the solar panel at the pole and the equator will both be hit by the same amount of light. And so if you go backwards with this, if you were to lay out several one square meter solar panels, for example, at the equator, you could lay them jammed up against each other because they're all parallel to each other, right? And they're parallel to the ground. But at say 45 degrees north, they'd be tilted and they would cast a shadow behind them so you couldn't just place them like in the same you know jammed up against each other type of thing you would need to space them further apart as far as the ground is concerned in order to catch catch the same amount of light so even even with that notice that each individual panel is still being hit by the same amount of light the difference is just that you need more ground space to place the same number of panels when you get farther away from the equator. Now here's where things change. When you have an atmosphere, in order for the light to hit the ground, the distance from the point where it enters the atmosphere to where it strikes the ground is going to be greater the farther you get away from the equator. So if you look at these two lines, you see that the one from the way up north is going to be a lot longer. So the same light has to go through a lot thicker atmosphere, basically, in order to hit the ground. And so it gets more absorbed and reflected and all that stuff. So basically, the same size of a solar panel is going to be less effective near the pole because of this. And and whatever the light source is directly overhead is obviously as you can see going to be the most efficient point so like at noon on the equator kind of thing and so the farther you move away from that whether it's earlier or later in the day or whether it's farther or north or south but that's what's going to make the difference anyway I hope that clears up what I was talking about and you know I just I know it's not super important to you know clarify these kind of little details and stuff but you know I I actually kind of enjoy that stuff <laughs> so and I thought it was interesting enough to, to make into a video so anyway thanks for watching and see you in the next video later